Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Curtis Goes Corner. From the Washington Examiner, Arkansas governor signs bill into law banning biological males from competing in female sports. Now, I don't know why. I really and truly don't know why this is such created such a crap storm. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's, yeah, there's some trans people. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we all have our issues to bear, and I'm sure it's extremely difficult for them, whether it be male to female or female to male. But the fact of the matter is you're a biological male or you're a biological female. Now, there's very, very tiny, tiny, minute percent, I believe, to have both. I am not a biologist so I can't really say, uh, but usually the tiny, tiny percent of those people are usually identify with one or the other. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's such a tiny percent. It's not even worth this discussion. And that's part of the point. Arkansas Republican governor signed a bill in the law barring biological males from participating in female sporting events. The bill signed by Governor Asa Hutchinson on Thursday requires student athletes to participate in sporting events that coincide with their biological gender and would allow students who have been harmed by a violation of the ban to sue the school according to the Associated Press. And there's the caveat that I like. So say you're in a back crap crazy progressive school district and you say, you know what? We're going to let the biological males who say they're female, to compete in female sports, female athletes that have been harmed can now sue the school districts. And you want to bring around and have somebody's ideology they won't defend anymore, take some money out of their wallet, and they stop defending it real quick. It's just the way they are. I have no idea why this is an issue. Let's read on. The law simply says that female athletes should not have to compete in a sport against a student of the male sex when the sport is designed for women's competition. Hutchinson said in the statement that he signed the bill in the law. As I have stated previously, I agree with the intention of this law. It will help promote and maintain fairness in women's sporting events. Now, excuse me while I drink out of my leftist tears mug. Thanks, Ben. In fact, the young lady here is, uh, she also must work for the Washington Examiner as well. She works for Ben Shapiro. She's sharper in hell, too. A lot of which will go into effect this summer, if not held up by legal channel, of course they will. Applies to all students in kindergarten through college. Now, think about this for a minute. What's the criteria for having a male saying he's female. Besides, I said so. We all know, even with hormonal uh, treatment and all the other things they go through, the trans, to go from male to female, the bone density's still stronger and bigger. They're still faster and stronger. I mean, you talk, uh, talk to Joe Rogan, who was exactly what I would call a pillar of conservative views, where the number 100-rated MMA fighter, it's male, will take the number one or number two woman. Yeah, she'll get some licks in, but once he gets one or two punches in, she's done. And he's seen some women pummeled. And it's disgusting to watch, he says. But they allow it. What's to stop a male in a high school? Says, you know what? I'll never be number one in track and field in this high school, I'll never be able to get a scholarship because I'm just not the best. I'm not. Mm, what do I do? Hey, you know what? I'm trans now. 
Now there might come a lot of social issues and ridicule from the other males because we all know that teenagers, male or female, are incredibly cruel. I was, you were, we all were. It's just part of growing up. But the thing of it is, though, what's to stop that individual? Is he going to get a scholarship? He or now she get a scholarship in a college for women? And what about the poor young ladies that trained that are now uh, 10th, 11th grade? They're 16, 17, almost 18 years old. They have been training for years in some cases. You sacrificed a lot with incredible discipline and work ethic. All of a sudden now, they're just pushed aside like they were nothing. What happened to the Me Too women's rights all of a sudden? This is bat crap crazy stuff. Do people that have issues with the biological the sex they are and they want to be a different sex, do they have issues? Yeah. And I wish them Godspeed. I really do. And that's just my opinion. I am not a doctor. I am not a, uh, I don't have a lot of education on the subject of, of, of mental illness or uh, biology. But a lot of people a lot smarter than I say that it is a mental condition. These call it gender dysphoria about 10 minutes ago, and every week it changes. The suicide rate for male to female trans before and after surgery is 40%. That's incredibly, amazingly high both before and after. So obviously something's wrong. And I wish these people all the luck in the world. Many of us have our crosses to bear with health, family issues, uh, just things wrong with us physically. And it's, and it's a shame. Some are blind. Some have diseases when they're young. There's three and four-year-olds with cancer. It's just, there's a lot of bad stuff out there. And it's just part of the human condition. I'm afraid that's the way it is. You have to take your, take your burden that you have and carry it the best you can. But forcing biological males to compete against females because a judge says so is wrong. Democrats and LGBT groups have vocally opposed the signing of this bill. Well, of course. I don't know what kind of constituency they're trying to go to. They're, this isn't about civil rights. This is, this is BS. I don't understand the, 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 the strategy here. Arguing that transgender students are being unfairly targeted. It's extremely hard to be a kid, and if you're a transgender kid, your life's even harder. I believe that to be true. I believe that to be true. Just as if you were autistic and you were 15, 16. Just as if you were 15, 16, and had schizophrenia. Just as if you had uh, polio, which isn't around anymore, but uh, similar to that, and muscle diseases. There's all kinds of things that can afflict the human condition, especially when you're young, and it's tragic, and it's sad, and it's horrible for someone that young to go through puberty. That's tough enough going through your teens, let alone have an added burden. And I'm sorry that it is. I really am. Democrat Representative Tippi McCullough, the top Democrat in the Arkansas House and an openly gay woman. What the hell does gay have to do with trans? I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. She said before the vote, sports give kids a place to belong, a place to be included, a place to succeed or learn to deal with setbacks and work to overcome them. I couldn't agree more. They're absolutely right. But to have one student that's having, obviously, all kinds of issues emotionally screw over all the rest of the girls that are in his school because he's having difficulty? That's okay? That's fair? We're talking about fairness here. Earlier this year, Mississippi's Republican governor signed a similar bill in the law, and at least 20 other state legislatures are currently considering legislation addressing the issue. Shortly after taking office in January, President Joe Biden signed an executive order requiring biological males who identify as female to be allowed to participate in girls' sporting events, which some have referred to as the end of girls' sports. 
I agree. I agree. What about these these girls? I mean, boys too. We talk about college. The burden of college debt is just crushing and and mind numbing and just it's just horrendous. And you're in your forties and still paying off these loans. Okay, some of these kids, boys and girls, use athletics to try to get scholarships. Some get academic scholarships, and there's other ways to get scholarships, and many go through the academic uh, run. And they put in countless hundreds of hours of training and discipline to try to be the best, to earn that scholarship to those school or schools. And all of a sudden, somebody that's having psychological problems, let's tell the truth here. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. We all had our issues, me included. Doesn't make us bad people, but us because we're having issues doesn't mean 99.99% of everybody else gets screwed over just for me. I'm sorry. It's not right, but that poor girl has been training her whole life to get a scholarship all of a sudden because some boy that week decides when tryouts start that I'm going to be a female now and I'm making light of it. I'm not. It's wrong. There are no perfect solutions in the world to certain problems, and this is one of them. And there's certainly no government solution. Some issues just don't have a 100% solution. So you pick the one that does a lot less harm than good. You want to, If it causes harm to some of these trans people, I'm sorry that it does. It adds to your burden. But we can't screw over 99.999% of female athletes in high school, college level, in junior high school, because you have an issue. It's simply not right to make everybody, everybody get screwed over. And I like the part about this, but this particular bill is if your school decides not to follow this law at the governor's, at the bill, this is an executive order from a governor. This is an actual signed bill. If you don't do it, these girls and her family can sue for damages. Good for governor of Arkansas, Hutchinson. Good for you and good for the legislature. You have to protect the most people you can. No law is perfect. No law makes everybody happy. Like I said, not every problem has a solution. And almost zero problems have a government solution. That's for sure. And until next time, folks, goodbye and good luck.